Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Yo and hello, superstars. Hey, superstars. Bajo's here, my third national. Not a row, but it still counts. Happy to be here, celebrating with all my dudes. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Uh, one more. Hey, superstars. That wasn't a good take. That was not a good take. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Closer. Have a good Marlboro Red. And then come, or next Never smoked a cigarette in my entire life. Hey, superstars. All right, I'll, you're off the hook. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. It's your best friend, Theo. Hey, superstars. The real superstar, Scott. Right, we're here. What's up, YouTube? Hey, superstars. How's it going? Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. You're watching Reindeer Studios. Mr. Scott. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Keep collecting and stay iconic. Hey, superstars. You messed it up. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. All right. Hey, superstars. 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 This is Love Said Cards. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. What's up, superstars? Hey, superstars. What were we saying? Hey, superstars. Just say hey, superstars? Yep. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. You got it? We're good? Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Where's the camera? Superstars. Hey, 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 superstars. Hey Superstars, it's your best friend Scott. I just love doing that montage every year. Thanks to all the guys that helped me out with that. It means so much and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. And uh, one of my biggest pickups from the National, if you couldn't tell by the sound of my voice, is this nasty little virus I've got going on, but I'm starting to get over it, I think. So just like two years ago, I drove up with Four Leaf, and just like two years ago, he talked for, let's see, we were together five days, so... That's about 300 hours straight. He gave me some goodies, and there's a Triss and Nap and Larry, Triss, and a Bubbly Slime Parallel Nolan Jones rookie, and a 2023 team set, a Big Jose box topper, or whatever you call those, and this ticket stub from Old Municipal Stadium signed by Jeff Treadway and my man Alvaro Espinoza. He also gave me this Brack shirt because I love beans, and I tried to thank him, but he wouldn't stop talking long enough, so thanks, Four Leaf. Other YouTuber gifts. Okay, John Wade Boggs fan, who's having his name officially changed to that, by the way, made up these cool Wade Boggs customs. Rick Vintage Oddball Cards threw these at me as he yelled, Get off my lawn. Tito autograph and an Al Rosen auto. And he gave me a Misfits t-shirt. Thanks, Rick. Orlando gave me a signed Collector's Dream business card. So dreamy. And Iconic Al at Iconic Baseball is always a pleasure to chat with. Here's a signed custom and a sweet sticker. I love those. Here's a Sammy Thunder custom. Sammy probably thinks I'm nuts because he was asking me questions and I just rambled on and on and on incoherently for a while there. But that came with a 1980 Robin Yount. Look at that. A combo card with Dylan and Adam from Splendid Sports. I am kicking myself for not having them sign this one. There's a Dylan sticker and a Dylan surfing card. And Dylan gifted me this sweet autographed 1954 Al Rosen. Unbelievably awesome. This uh, 59 Rocky Calavito is from Liam, Junior Baseball Fanatic 12. That kid and his family are so nice. It was very cool to meet and talk with them. This card is from Doug at Don't Talk to Robots. Got a little Shane Bieber ornament as well as some stickers. I love those. These guys, uh, some Daryl who Doug and I saw on the show floor, which was neat. Uh, Tanner Burns autograph, Shiny Herb score, Andre Semenis rookie number to 199, and an Alvaro auto. I love those, Doug. I think these are all from Ken's Cardboard, but I could be mistaken, and if I am, I apologize. I am heavily medicated right now. 
I know at least some of them are. Anyway, Albert Bieber and lots more cool bells and Biebers. Cy Frank, Boy Toy Grady Sizemore, V Mart, uh, that guy. Uh, Steve Carlton, Biebs, Corey, Biebs, Savali, and Dr. Sticks. Thanks, Ken, I think. Um, okay, this one was from Four Leaf again, or I think it was. Uh, there's a newest Cleveland Guardian, Thor. This one was from Bronco at Baseball Card Illustrated. I'm supposed to figure out who that is, but I really haven't dug into it yet. These are from Jason Aaron Goldberg. There's Mark Price, some team cards, uh, Biebs, some Tommy A&G minis, and a bubbly orange soda parallel team card. And then he picked up this really nice 53 Suitcase Simpson. I love that. Thanks, Jag. Andy at Flying Dutchman gave me this fun Gaylord Perry autograph from Gaylord Perry Enterprises. Or I hope he gave it to me. He showed it to me, and I just took it because I'm a jerk. And Andy's the kind of guy that wouldn't tell me if he was just showing it to me. Anyway, thanks, Andy. I'm pretty sure these were from Guy 29 but again, I could be mistaken. There's Super Joe, Len Barker, some nice vintage. There's my man, Mossy, and a 54, Mike Garcia. Love that. And Charlie Nagy. Thanks, Kevin. I think. I can usually remember this stuff. I should have written everything down. And finally, Scott from Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities gave me this cool feller and his custom and a really neat Police Gazette page featuring the 1920 Cleveland Indians. There's Ray Chapman and Tris Speaker. I love this, and I'm definitely going to frame it and put it up somewhere. So thank you, Scott. So... I really didn't give everybody the time and attention they deserve, but I'm so honored and humbled by all these amazing gifts from amazing best friends. Next order of business is my pickups. Are my pickups? Oh man, my brain is fried. And some people say the national experience is about the friends and not the cards, but when the friends are right there with you looking and helping you buy the cards, the cards definitely take on more importance. And I am rambling. Anyway, my first purchase was this Larry Doby rookie. So my buying strategy for a show like this is to have two to three big targets and buy one of them before buying anything else. And that determines my budget for the rest of my show. So I saw this Doby within 45 minutes of entering the show and I became quite smitten with it. My hesitation was that I was spending most of my budget on one card that quickly and that was a little scary. And then I ran into Chris from Missouri and he told me to buy it. And when Chris tells me to buy a card, I listen. And I'm glad I listened because I didn't see another one this nice or priced this well for the entire week. And I absolutely love it. So thank you, Chris. So that was Wednesday. On Thursday, I found this 1955 Topps double header, which is actually a Don Mossy rookie card that I didn't have. These are kind of pricey and I've looked at them before, but I got a pretty good price on this one. And then I was looking at Ashish's table, and if you know anything about Ashish's cards and my budget, you know I had no business looking at Ashish's table. But this nap was the last of the three T206 naps that I needed, and this one just caught my eye because, as you can see, it's gorgeous. Um, just then Rick walked by, and I said, Rick, what do you think about this nap? And he said, you're not going to find one prettier than that, so save yourself some money and, and buy it. And when Rick tells me to buy a card... I listened, so it is a scrapbook card, and the back's completely gone, but that preserved the front, and this thing looks incredible. On Friday, I just kind of slowed things down. I picked up this 64 stand-up Woody Held. That was the last of the three Indians I needed in that set. I picked up Duke Snyder and Pee Wee Reese autographs for future projects, and I like this little quick magazine questioning if Larry Doby could be better than Jackie. And then I saw Greg Kreinler. He's a baseball artist that I have a ton of respect for. And I bought this Negro League book. I picked up some of these cool little tobacco size cards he did. And I had him sign a baseball for me. We had a nice little chat. He's such a good guy. So maybe not all artists are jerks. Maybe it's just me. Uh, Dick Perez was signing on Friday too, but I didn't know about that until it was too late, unfortunately. On Saturday, the only thing I bought were these cool Menko cards from Robert at Prestige Collectibles because Robert is awesome. I have no idea who these are, but they just spoke to me. Robert told me this one says safe. And then after the show, I went to a baseball game with Matt and Tyrus from The Card Story, Dave from Legends of the Dugout, Ken, Dylan, Adam from Vintage Sanctuary, and Four Leaf. 
and Bob, who we're hoping starts his own YouTube channel, but that was a blast. Sunday, um, before the National, I was asked what my goals were for the show, and I said my big goal was to buy a card from B. Roth, to which he replied that that was an awful lot of pressure. Well, he didn't bring anything that I was looking for, but he did pick up this Red Man Feller during the show, just so he wouldn't let me down, and he gave me a fantastic price, and I do believe that this is my favorite looking Feller card, just a great portrait. I love it, so thanks B. Roth. Lastly, these are the customs I made to hand out last week. I know there were a couple of people that I forgot to give them to, and I do apologize. So if you'd like some of these, shoot me an email at scott at reindeerstudios.com or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address on the screen, and I would be more than happy to send some your way. So that's about it. You've seen all the other footage and everybody talking about the experience, so I can't really say anything that you've not heard before. Really can't thank you guys enough for making these experiences so special and... Um, I'm just tired of talking and I need some ibuprofen and a nap. So I will see you real soon. Later.